And Kevin surprisingly checks two pair right behind him. I believe we could have got a little value out of that two pair had he made a small wager there. Opted to just go ahead and check, and he's going to take down the pot, but I think he missed a value bet there. I think so, too. And look at the irritated Todd Terry. Disgusted. Saying to himself, listen, I'm the Ivy Leaguer. Don't try to push me around. So right there, Kevin Schaffel taking down a nice little pot. Birdied that hole. <laughs> to the table we go. Can we vote? It is on Prahlad. He quickly folds a 6-7. Now Toto going out as well. Round to the 21-year-old on the button. Looks at King Ten of Hearts. Sam Stein doubled up on the very first deal at this final table. Hadn't played a pot since. 21 years old, been a poker pro for three years. Has played a lot of online poker in his day, that's for sure. We're going to raise it here to 75,000. All right, Todd Terry folding. Around to Kevin. When you look at Kevin, and he's got the glasses on, he's got that tough look. He almost looks like one of those southern prison gardens that you just would hate. Picture him with a rifle on the, on the chain gang, you know? Oh, take it easy. He's a super nice guy, this guy. I don't care. He looks like a prison guard oh, on the chain gang. Maybe you should take the glass off. He won't look so mean to you. You don't see the prison guard thing, huh, Mike? Yeah. I don't see it. I just can't get out of the fact that the guy's a scratch golfer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm hypnotized by that. Well, he's a caller here. Queen four. Both hearts. Here we go with the flop. Four, four, five. Kevin's hit three of a kind. Oh, what a flop for Kevin. He checks it, trying to set a little trap for his man, and boom, the continuation bet being made by Sam Stein right here. Yeah, Sam Stein's bet 100 grand with his nothing. Yeah, he's not going to like it. Now the question is, do you raise right now or you just sort of walk the dog with the three fours? Well, Kevin's going to come right over the top. He's going to make it 350000 to go. Yep. And he's coming over the top here and hopes that his opponent's got a real hand, an over pair, for example, where he might get all his chips as the cards lie. Probably not going to get any action, but still happy to flop the three fours and take down the pot. He's saying what we got here is fade to communicate. <laughs> Sam in a quandary, and he's going to finally fold his hand. Wisely done. Sometimes he's just got to give it up. Kevin Schaffel taking down that pot. The prison guard looking good. Five players remaining here on the World Poker Tour. We're coming right back. We enjoy uh, having people from all over the world come to Legends of Poker and be part of the World Poker Tour Championship. The prize pool for this event is going to be over $2.6 million, and we're extremely excited about that. The best tournaments in the world are held at the Bicycle Casino. That is Kelly O'Hara from Ireland. I think she played a big part in Gone with the Wind, I believe. Oh, Benny. Players do love it here at the bike, and some great champions have become legends of poker winners, no question about that. Former world champions Dan Harrington, the famous Doyle Brunson won here. One of these guys looking to add their name to that list of legends. A look at the chip leaderboard. Kevin Schaffel right now out in front with 3.2 million. And what you see there is a graphic of how many percent of chips that each player has. So with five players left, if you've got 20% of the chips, you know you're in average chip position. If you've got more than that, you're above average. And of course, if you've got less, you're below average. So you know where you stand when you see that percentage. All right, action on Toto, former casino employee, now poker player, quickly folding his hand. The young 21-year-old Sam Stein out. And the math guy from Harvard, he's out as well. So once again, we've got a battle of the blinds. Action on Kevin Schaffel. Yep, the chip leader at this point. He's got a queen nine off suit. Uh-oh, well, the dog comes down, and that means that Kevin is barking. Yep, he's going to raise it. Makes it 75000 to go. Every time Kevin plays a pot, he puts that little dog on his cards. But right behind him, Prowlout has picked up two eights in the big blind. Too bad. Let's see how he's going to play it. Most people will just come over the top right here. But not the hippy-dippy. He's going to call it. Well, he's up against the chip leader, so you tread water a little more cautiously in those situations. Here's the flop. Oh, what a flop for Prahlad. 
It's come Jack, a three, he's flopped a set. He's got three eights. Kevin, with the gut shot straight draw, is going to make the continuation bet of 100,000. This is what you play for if you're prolonged. You hit three of a kind, you're a vegetarian. It's like you're seeing a giant organic vegetable garden before your very eyes. Well, just a moment ago, we saw Kevin flop a set of fours. He opted to raise in this position. His opponent got out. But notice Prolot is just calling here. He's going to walk the dog, as we say. Wants to let Kevin continue to take the lead and hopefully continue to fire at the pot. Offsuit deuce comes off. No help to anybody. A good nothing card if you prolod. Will he get his sucker to bet? And that would be Kevin at this point. And yes, he's going to boldly stick it out there with nothing. 300,000. Well, the reason he's betting here is his opponent didn't raise him on the flop, so you don't put him on a jack here. So you're making a continuation bet yet again in hopes that he might have middle pair and just get out. As it is, he's got middle set. He's not going anywhere. Just trying to figure out what to bet to continue to get Kevin to play this pot and extract more chips from him. 600. Oh, no, he's going to pop it back. He's going to make it the minimum raise to a $300,000 raise. That is scary. Oh, boy, the prison guard now trying to act strong. <laughs> How much more you got? He's sickened. If he raises it here, the inmate's going to turn on him, Vince. I can tell you that. Oh. This would not be a good time to make a move for Kevin Schaffel. Boy, I never liked your kind. Yeah, I'll tell you. He's going to try to make probably do a little more hard time here. But <laughs> as it turns out, Kevin better be very careful here. He does lay his hand down. Yep, wisely done. Show the block. And Prowlout takes it down. And so far, Vance, he's catching by far the best cards at this final table. Ace King, two kings, flop three eights. The Malibu man on the move right now. A big dent there for our chip leader. Five players remaining going after this title. We'll be back for more on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Five players continue here at the bike for that first place prize for over $1 million. And folks, you may not recognize the faces of these players at this table, but if you watch the poker that's being played here, you're seeing some top-notch poker. Believe me, these guys have game. Well, we know them. They're secret geniuses in the poker world, <laughs> and now they want to become legends in the legends of poker here at the bike. Well, one of them is going to become a legend, a legend champion. To go along with the lights of guys like Doyle Brunson, who won this event. So certainly a lot on the line for these guys to say nothing of the million-dollar first-place prize. All right, to the felt we go. Sam Stein quickly folding his hand. To? Todd Terry from Hoboken, New Jersey. With a little wired pair of three says, how much you got there, Toto? 300. It's 75. He's got about 5% of the chips, behind. not very much. Yeah. Pick on the dog when he's down. How about that? Uh, it's Total Leonidas. Normally a very aggressive poker player when he plays in the cash games, but here at the tournament, when you're on a short stack like this, you just got to wait for a hand and get your chips in there. It's on Todd Terry. One of those guys has got two first names. He's also got a law degree and graduated from Harvard with an applied mathematics degree. So this guy definitely one of the smarter poker players out there. Gonna lay it down though. Todd Terry laying down the small pair. And Kevin Shuffle with his favorite hand, Jack 10. And he bet 75,000 on the button. Prolod going out. And Toto in the big blind has a king queen. Well, he's been waiting for a hand to get his chips in with Vince. I believe this is the one he's gonna go with. All in. Toto has done it. He pulled the trigger. For 400,000, he's moved all in. 405,000, Yeah, 405. Well, this is why Todd Terry earlier on was saying, Toto, how much you got? Because he has threes. He's thinking to himself, can I push him out? Is it just going to be a race? What's going on? So he made a wise mathematic fold right there. That's still a lot of chips. Well, Kevin Schaffel is the chip leader. He can well afford to make this call. I know. And it cost him another 330000 to do so. But you have to play two scenarios in your mind. Number one, do you really want to double up a tough player like Toto? 
But number two, you've got chips to gamble with. If you get lucky, win the pot, you can eliminate another player. And number three, he's got prison duties to do. Well, he gives Toto respect. He lays his hand down, so Toto Leonidas, top-notch pro player, taking down his first pot at this final table. He talked me out of it. A lot of chips. <laughs> It's amazing how when you win a pot, Vince, when you're on a short stack, you start smiling and laughing. <laughs> Toto Leonitas taking his first pot Come here on. tonight. I don't bluff, guys. Well, he's a former <laughs> casino employee. He used to be a bartender and a food server at the casinos. But he's also a great player, a lot of experience, and Toto shows it there. Well, Vince, you got to admire guys that worked in casinos as bartenders and waiters and now playing big cash games like Toto does. Yeah. Plays in the, a lot of events out here on the World Poker Tour. Good to see him at a final table. Yeah, going after over a million dollars here tonight. Cards are being dealt once again, and the blinds are going up to 20 and 40 now. Action going to the man from Malibu, Prahlad Friedman. Looks down to the Jack-5 offsuit and folds. Yep, and now Toto also going out. Sam Stein, the 21-year-old, also out. And now we're back around to Todd Terry. And once again, it's call. a battle of the blinds. We've seen a lot of that so far at this final table. And he's going to limp in and call with the 8-6. But look at this right behind him. Kevin Chaffel has picked up two kings. He caps his card with a dog and checks fence. He is slow playing the two kings. Yes, he is. Camouflaging the strength of his hand. Big time here. All right, here's the flop. It is 10-6-3. Todd gets a piece of that, and there goes the Hollywood pinky wrap. Well, he checks middle pair. A little surprised by that. Kevin with the over pair is now going to make a bet. 70000 Is it just me or is his hands starting to look like E.T.'s? Well, it looks like he's got piano hands to me, Vince. You try tapping your finger like that without the other fingers moving. It's not easy. All right, well, he's making a call. He could get into trouble here. Ten on the turn, pairs the board. Well, again, Todd checks. Well, even though there's a possibility your opponent might have three tens, if you're sitting in Kevin's seat, you don't think so, because you believe a guy would have come back over the top of you if he had flopped top pair. What you're fearful about is he's got some kind of straight draw or some kind of flush draw here. So you don't want to give him a free card, so that's why you'd bet two kings. 150000 Todd, of course, has got second pair, thinks he might have the best hand, so he's going to make the call. Yep, down to the river. Todd needs to get lucky. What will happen? Oh, he's caught a six, Vince. Oh, That's lucky. the only card he could win this pot with, and it peels right off of there on the river. Unbelievable. And again, he checks. Now, you don't know if he's checking for the check raise or if he's fearful that his opponent's got a 10 in his hand for 10's full. Well, Kevin's going to bet 200,000. Look at this, Todd Terry looking disgusted. He might think his opponent had top pair, has a 10. Well, obviously, that's what he thinks. He's gone into slump mode here, which is shocking to me. Now, I can't believe he's going to take this long. His opponent's only bet 200,000. You're never, ever, ever going to throw this hand away in this spot, Vince. If the guy's got 10s full, he's just got it. You're going to call. Maybe he's thinking about coming over the top with the sixes full. No, impossible. That would be impossible. You can't get caught unless you're beat. So that won't happen. But, you know, you give a man, a man can whine at the poker table a little bit. You know, get the violin out. I'll tell you, he's he going to be whining it. here when this pot's over. That's going to be Kevin. Because as long as Todd has taken to call this bet, right now Kevin's saying to himself, please call me. Yeah. He thinks he's got the best hand with two kings. When he turns his hand up and loses, he's going to be shocked. I promise you. And there's the slow roll. The six is full, and you see the expression on Kevin's face. What could take you so long to call with that hand? I can't believe it. The guy's winding me up here, I guess. Kevin taking a back right there. Todd Terry taking down a big pot. Kevin slow played the two kings. It came back to bite him, but still, I think the slow roll aggravated him just as much, if not more. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Stay with us. Tonight's World Poker Tour, brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. I'm Toto Leonidas. I'm uh, originally from the Philippines, and uh, I, I moved uh, to the U.S. in 1989.